I have seen no question of our credibility from our allies around the world. I've spoken with our NATO allies. We've spoken with NATO allies, the, the Secretary of State. Our national security advisors have been in contact with his counterparts throughout the world and our allies, as has the general. Our, our the phone calls that I am still receiving, the text messages that I've been answering as I've been waiting, putting people in touch with our people in Afghanistan, reminds us that we are connected. We are connected still today. And Afghanistan is not a far country about which we know little. It is part of the main. That connection links us also to our European partners, to our European neighbours, and to our international friends. And so it is with great sadness that I now criticise one of them. Because I was never prouder than when I was decorated by the 82nd Airborne after the capture of Musakala. It was a huge privilege, a huge privilege to be recognised by such an extraordinary unit in combat. To see their Commander-in-Chief call into question the courage of men I fought with, to claim that they ran, it's shameful. Those who have never fought for the colours they fly should be careful about criticising those who have. I have seen no question of our credibility from our allies around the world. What has been most shocking has been the chaos and the speed of the takeover by the Taliban. In July of this year, both President Biden and my right honourable friend, the Prime Minister, indicated that they did not think that the Taliban was ready or able to take over control of the country. Was our intelligence really so poor? Was our understanding of the Afghan government so weak? Was our knowledge of the position on the ground so inadequate? Or did we really believe this? Or did we just feel that we had to follow the United States and hope that on a wing and a prayer it would be all right on the night? Because the reality is, if I may just make this point, the reality is that as long as this a time limit was given and dates were given for withdrawal, all the Taliban had to do was to ensure there were sufficient problems for the Afghan government not to be able to have full control of the country and then just sit and wait. I have seen no question of our credibility from our allies around the world.